Hello everybody, this is MartyMan641 here, and welcome to my live stream of Evil Land 2. Where we last left off, um, we, um, we gotten ourselves out of the forest and past the Mayon Bridge finally. We got a boulder out of the way. And now here we are, we end up what is left of Evil Land 2. Oh, we have to go for this cutscene again because, um, I don't know why. But, um, here's exactly what's happening next. Harley. Look. Look at that. This is what's left. What happened here? Where's my village? My parents. My friends. Everything's gone. What could that possibly mean? I have my suspicions, but now I'm sure of it. This isn't our time period. We have to find out what happened. Let's try Genova. Somebody there should be able to tell us. Okay. So... Apparently, we have here a toxic wastely area. You see, all this is messed up. I heard that over here is where they built the orcs. I'm not sure if it's still open, but let's see. The Great Destroyer shall punish you all! Oh dear. Nye nye nye! What did I do to deserve such necrosults? Nye! Well, will no one open this for me? We sent for someone unbearable for profit. Nay! How dare you make me the language here? Ah, finally! One of these days I'll have to change that mechanism. But it's the surest way to protect my precious, my very precious Stone of Time. The Stone of Time. That could be useful. But also, I'm not gonna go this way really quickly. Because I assume going that way would just lead to the orc place, but I guess it's only in the past. Whatever. Anyways, we have here is Genova. We have the, uh, the, uh, harbor. But we also can go down here to the Windy Valley. Uh, let's explore these other places before we head towards Genova. Just to take a little, a little peek around. Okay, last time when we came here, there was nothing. But maybe there's something here now. read this. He who sought to fly like the wind, unknown inventor, B9443, uh, D1012. Huh, someone died? Oh. Hello, Mr. Old Man. What are you doing here? I know you. Young time no see. Are you doing here then? We call this place Windy Valley, but the Wind Guardian hasn't been seen here for ages. One guy actually tried to get the wind going again, but he died in the attempt. Anyway, as you know, none of that really matters. Thanks for the auto host, Night Revenge. Access to the top of Mount Alpha is restricted to those ancients who have passed Nova's training in order to become dispensals of the Prophet. If you have not passed, you shall not pass. Okay, so looks like we need to pass a trial in order to bypass these guys. And I think the same goes to the other guys on the other location.
You know, that also gets me thinking, well, I want to try something. They possibly may not let me pass anyway, but I'm going to give, I'm going to talk to these guys real quickly. So, maybe I can talk to them. Don't even try to scale the pyramid. It's so slippery, even the same ninja squirrels never made it to the top. To get inside, you need to reach by air. But without wings, it cannot be done. When humans fly, as they say... Okay. We have here a lot of crates and somewhat. There's also some guys down there you can also talk to who you want to. We can't go down there. See that beautiful pyramid? Where have you one who built it? It requires lots of hard work. But when water covers everything, we'll be able to take shelter in there. Still, a slight detail has been niggling me. Do you think you'll float? I don't think so. Entrance to the Great Pyramid is restricted. Only the prophets have, and the eldest discipline may go in. And there's no point of searching for the key, the door is only open for the inside. Which can probatically at that time actually just the other day, the Prophet has locked out because of the sun draft. It took a whole week to force the door open, and then it had to be replaced. The Prophet proclaimed drafts to be a sign of the whole of the world's annihilation. Hello, sir. I came here to be a disciple, but novice training re is really difficult. You have to master quite a few skills. I'm not sure I'll make it. But number five has always injured me. I mean, really. It's a special number, don't you, don't you think? The pops up everywhere. The story of the five little pigs. The tale of the five musketeers. And of course, the five keys to be collected by the Great Destroyer before annihilated the world. As strange as strange can be, why five? Yeah, that makes sense, because usually it's the three little pigs and the three musketeers, not five. Whatever. There's a little crane over here, but we can't, however, go down. I've always dreamed of touching the Stone of Time, but only the Prophet has, the, has his honor. Our greatest treasure kept safely atop the pyramid. Do you think that by touching one, you can communicate the Great Destroyer? Possibly. I can also break pot, so maybe I'll find some things in here. Do you want to take novice tests? Um, I'm not ready to take any of these tests yet. to take... No, I do not want to take the novice test yet. I think all of you say the exact same thing. Alright, so I'm going to come back here later, because right now I want to analyze everything, and at least for this, as I'm uploading this, I'm going to check around the whole area for this first episode to see what I can do. I'm going to check around this area, check around the harbor, Check around everything, and hopefully I'll find some good clues what to do. So the first key in action is to answer. By the way. Wow, okay. 
again, multiple choices here. But, um, most importantly, we want to do this. Yes. Fine. Listen carefully to my question and to the correct answer. The Great Disaster was the first omen in the world of Annihilation. What will the second be? Oh crap, it's just like a freaking Q&A segment. Plague of a Locust, Flood, Global Warming, Bird Flu. Uh, Flood? Yes, exactly. That's why we built the pyramid. That way, we'll be all be able to survive the water covers the world. Your novice training isn't over yet. Speak to the other professors to continue the test. Yes. Carefully to my question, answer correctly. Before destroying the world, before destroying the world, the Great Destroyer must first do something. What is it? Grind for 70, reach a power level of 9,000. <laughs> oh yeah, that is a Dragon Ball Z reference right there. It's over 9,000! Collect 5 keys. That, that, definitely that one. Yes, that's it. There's surely a hidden meaning to the keys, but the Prophet is an ink when it comes to the number five. Your novice training isn't over yet. Speak to the other professors to continue the test. Okay. Yes, I do. The Great Eye Symbolization and the Great Destroyer. It is etched into our most precious treasure. What is the treasure? The Triforce! A one-up mushroom! Excalibur! Or the Stone of Time. I might want to show V3 in the row, but, um... Actually, the answer is the Stone of Time. Well done! Indeed, the Stone of Time is kept at the very top of the pyramid. The prophet discovered it is near the smug shortly after the Great Disaster. Congratulations! You pass the novice test. But that's the only first step. To become a discipline, you need to go to Windy Valley and then climb Mount Alpha. On top Mount Alpha, you'll have to spend an entire day meditating before the eye symbol of the great eye. Only then you will be ready to become a discipline. Okay, so let's go to Windy Valley, I guess. I will say the second one was a major guess, but, um, then later I realized, oh yeah, now I know why. I, I read that answer. I wish the test was something to do with combat, but no, it is a quiz show. Be sure, at least, good thing I'm taking notes along our way here. Analyze everything. The mic on? Yes, it is. Okay. Just double checking, because I didn't want to begin with a really weird entrance. Begin with Genova. Genova is a big place. You are now entering the great trade capital Genova. Be sure not to make any trouble and we will assure your safety. Okay, well, at least they're welcome me in. Traders and disciplines, traders and disciplines. All day long, all I see are traders and disciplines. It's crazy, has everyone really became a traitor in discipline? So, we are able to access Genova. So, let's go ahead and talk to everyone really quickly. Hello. You're just... You just got to Genova, right? It's obvious from your tan, you've spent too much time outdoors. In Genova, my dedicated skin is protected from the sun harm. Rays of vapor smug. Okay. Oh, this is the uh, Mr. Forge. Is really a nice trader. Maybe too nice, in fact. Whenever he says hello, 
I immediately want to buy something from him. Either way, he's a very powerful trader. It's a great honor for a discipline to be able to spy. I mean, to, to guard Mr. Fogwell's home. Oh, you don't know Mr. Fogwell. He's only one of the richest merchants of the whole continent. Can I go in there? If I can't, looks like a costume store. What is a piranha plant doing here? Okay. Whatever. The misuse are so demanding, I'm more frightened of her than the Great Destroyer. I'm not even sure he exactly he actually exists. The misis the misissues, on the other hand, I couldn't be more could be more sure. I've gone and be shamed without meaning to please don't turn me into a discipline. I beg of you. Oh. For goodness sake, Myron, I told you a thousand times not to winkle the lines. You poor girl, you absolutely no sense of perfection. The Great Destroyer demands protect perfection. And I serve a prophet who represents a great destroyer. Mr. Mudwell. Well, hello there, citizen. What can I do for you? Uh, who are you? Oh, I but a humble trader from a long line of traders. My grandfather was already a professional merchant at the time of the Empire. He was a real hero, helping those who really passed in or out of Genova during the war. He did many favors, and he also earned money to keep his working hard. Thus was born the Fogwell Dynasty. Quite a beautiful story, ain't it? What can I do for you? The Great... The Great Disaster? The Great Disaster happened to be 60 years ago of the 50th anniversary of the Empire's victory over the Dominions. No one knows exactly what happened except that the huge explosion wiped out the southern part of the continent. Genova was not entirely spared as the turmoil had that followed ultimately led to the Empire's demise. Thankfully, the traitors were there to restore order. Mr. Mudwell, can I do for you? I can ask for the traitors, the smug, and help us out. Here, let's do the next one. After the great disaster, my father and his merchant friends came to the Empire rescue. They forced to the council that would take action necessary to Genova's survival. Someone needed to act quickly with all the cha chaos. Metoria was created it, to replace the army. The former Imperial attack system was abolished to make a way to the Farrier system. They gave people their freedom back, and since then everyone is free to do trade and become wealthier. Oh, naturally, traders' sons all become traders themselves, but at least everyone has a chance. What can I do for you? Uh, the smug? The explosive on the Great Disaster left behind a gapping hole filled with this strange substance. As no one rightly knew what the stuff was, people called it smug. Our scientists quickly found that the smug can be used as an energy source. The traders declared that the monopoly on buying the selling smug are built to smuggle line to teleport it to Genova. Since then, everything here has been filled with smug, and every 
every time he uses some more money. Lines of console pockets. Isn't technology grand? I guess so. Can you help us out? If you ever need a favor, feel free to come and see me. I'll be thrilled to do what I can, and in any means of disposal in exchange for services of like. Value, of course. I don't do pro bono. Ha 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 ha. Pro bono. <laughs> As if there were a thing. Ha <laughs> Uh, nothing else. I'm done. Thanks for talking. Oh. There's a monster in the house! The Great Disaster? My village, followed up by the smug. And it looks like what become of Genova, Harley. Is that really our future? He did not mention demons. They must be hiding somewhere. I cannot believe they all vanished into the air. That's not the number one problem here. My village, my parents, everything is gone. Harley, we have to stop the great disaster from happening. I understand your anguish, Miss Jackie. But if it is indeed possible to change the course of the events, we should start by saving my people. That can't be changed, Arclad. The demon's defeat is a part of history. I learned about it in school. It's in the past. But what happened here, that hasn't happened yet. Perhaps in your past, Miss Jackie. But to me, your present is my future. What might happen to the Empire is none of my concern. I want my people to live, to not wipe, to be wiped out by our enemy. Just don't fight over it, Jackie. It's not worth it. But if the Empire doesn't defeat the demons, that could change everything. I mean, maybe it wouldn't even exist. It's just too risky. And what of the people who live here are now? Maybe they'll, they too will disappear if you alter the past. Does that not bother you at all? But who knows exactly what can or cannot be changed. It may well be that all of this already exists. Perhaps we have already come here, we have done all this so no matter what we do, nothing can be changed. You know what, Arklad? I don't really know. But at least I'm going to try that we can all do. How about you, Harley? How about you, Harley? Do you think we can change time? It's a possibility. See, our glad Harley is an, an, is an optimist, just like me. And if we can, and if we can, what do you think we can change? The Empire's victory, the Great Disaster, both. I would say both. Thank you, Super Mario. I knew that I could count on you. Are you sure, Harley? It's pretty risky. Could you throw off the world's balance? But we would still need to be able to turn back time. I do not know what is possible or even refundable for, to hope for. Before anything else, we must find a megalith. Oh, that's much. I can completely agree, Arclad. Let's go to the library and dig up some info. I have a good feeling we'll find out where, the mega, where there is a megalith. You heard of that, Harley? Let's get going. So, let's go to the library. 